elite athletes normally have something that goes on. Um, I want to process. I want to process a day with you where you run onto the pitch for the spring box. How does that night look? How does the morning look? You know, the build up and what do you say to yourself if you want to go into that much detail just as you're about to put on your boots and jump, you know, jump out of the locker room onto the field. I want to process a day with you. The, the night before. Yeah, so obviously the, the the day before is actually pretty pretty easy. We've got a captain's run, so we, we boys get together, we joke around. Captain's run is between usually between 30 and 45 minutes. We start off the, the captain's run with the with the game game of touches. So the boys oh. are having fun. Nice and easy. Yeah, and then after that we go into about 10 or 15 minutes of structure play. What are we gonna do? This we do here. This we do there, and uh, we go through the whole pitch. What are we gonna do? And afterwards, obviously, you just want to have a chill, chill night. Um, some of the boys might go for dinner, but I think most of the guys actually eat the same thing. So I usually had chicken, um, chicken and veg the night before. Um, and if you can, boys would play, for in the Springbok setup, we used to play a little bit of cards, um, just have a coffee, you know, just relax a little bit. Um, you usually have your, your family around, if you do. Um, take the kids to play a little bit in the foyer or whatever, or, um, very, very chilled, just to take your mind off things. Um, for me, obviously, through that, uh, as I go to bed, I started playing the game in my head a little bit for 10 minutes or so, just to what I want to do, where I want to do what, and um, and then the next morning, very chilled breakfast, um, you get together again four hours before the game for a walkthrough, maybe a little bit of stretch, um, and then you start getting into a zone. Um, what I does that mean? I usually had music playing in my ears. Um, I had a playlist for three, four hours before the game, hour before the game, and then 15, 20 minutes before the game, I had three or four songs that I usually listen to. Please um, Where uh, Rise Against was one of the songs I, I actually listened to, which made me want to run through a wall. Um, it just put me in a whole different mindset. Um, but also, then you had songs like Chicken Fight and Wagon Wheel and just like a feel-good songs. Okay. Um, whatever you like, whatever makes you focus on what you want to do. Because um, some songs obviously takes you, it makes your mind wonder if you listen to like the Britney Spears, I don't know, for yes. some people. Yes. But um, you just need something that makes you relaxed, just chilled out and then um, <laughs> you warm up if, uh, after that and then Obviously, 10 minutes before running onto the pitch, the boys start going, listen, enjoy the game, let's go do this. And then I usually, I would chat to the fly off in the outside center uh, and, and the nine. Um, we'd have a little bit of get together and saying, this is, this is the target. And then as you run into the pitch, the, the wow of running out of, in front of 50,000 people um, is it's just, an, I think that's probably the, the one thing I miss most out of not playing rugby anymore. Everyone says that. Yeah, at, um, you might have, 20,000 screaming for you and 20,000 screaming at you, you don't know. But, um, but that's the one thing you miss. If you enjoyed this content and you would like to see more, please visit our MitMac Masterclass channel on YouTube. That's where the magic happens. Bye-bye.